بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم تھینکس فار ٹیوننگ ان ٹو الفا ٹی وی آئی ایم یور فرینڈ محمد کامران ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ کمپیوٹر نیٹ ورکس اینڈ دا بیسکس آف نیٹ ورکس ٹائپس آف ٹرانسمیشن اور کمیونیکیشن اینڈ ٹائپس آف کنیکشن اینڈ ان دس سیریز we will discuss about ppsc computer science educators and lecturers preparation series i welcome to all of you in this series that how you can prepare yourself for the computer science educators and lecturer jobs and interview let's start The first one is data communication. Data means raw facts and communication means exchange of raw facts. Whenever we talk about exchange, the words exchange means that there are two things or more than two things and they are exchanging of anything. So next one is the example. Let's this is a uh, station 1 and other side station 2 and the both stations wants to communicate so they can communicate through a transmission medium there will be two types of transmission medium one is wired that is used for local area network and the other one is wireless without wire the example of that transmission medium is wifi let's move on the next one is the characteristics of effective communication the first one is delivery that there are two stations or two systems a and b both want to deliver let's a uh, system a wants to send a message to system b it means system a have to send the message to only system b not system c or not system d and the accuracy second one accuracy means that the message between two machines a and b a wants to send a message just like uh, an example the number 2 system a wants to send only number 2 to system b it means if system b receives 3 it will be wrong it will not be accurate and the next one is timeliness it means without delay system a and b system a wants to send a message to system b if system a wants to send a message at 6 am but unfortunately system b gets that message at 8 am so that will be useless and the next one is jitter jitter is a very very important term in the data communication it means variation in delay let's we talk about system a and system b system a wants to send a message about 6 am to system b but system b gets that message on 6 o'clock and one more second so this one second delay is not a problem and if we want to send a video that is a uh, composed by two things sequence of images and the number 2 is audio but the sequence of images delivered but there is a delay of 20 nanosecond 
and then again send audio with the delay of 20 nanosecond and the third one again it video can be delayed about 20 nanoseconds there is no problem but if system a sends a message to system b but the system b gets 20 nanosecond delay and the next message receives with the 30 nanosecond delay and third one message received by system b about 9 90 nanoseconds delay so this 20 nanosecond and 30 nanosecond and 99 nanoseconds these are the variations this is a delay with variations this is called jitter next we will talk about components of data communication there are four components that are involved in data communication the first one is message the second one is sender third one is receiver and the fourth one is transmission medium and one more thing that is important that is protocols so first one we talk about message this message we want to send from the sender and there is a receiver who will receive and the sender is who who sends the message and the receiver is who who received the message so the both are using a transmission medium through transmission medium they can send and receive a message transmission medium can be a wired or wireless so we will talk about protocols protocols are set of rules that are followed by the sender and receiver you can say it's an agreement between sender and receiver so next we will talk about types of transmission or communication the first one is direction of data flow on the direction of data flow there are three types of transmission one is simplex and second one is half duplex third one is full duplex we will talk about simplex simplex is if both machines a and b are going to communicate and transmit a message so here we have an arrow from system a to b it means only system a will send a message to system b and system b cannot send a message to system a the example of simplex is radio it is also called a unidirectional because the communication is happening only in one direction so we will talk about half duplex half duplex is that the both systems can send a message and receive a message but not at the same time first system a sends a message to system b and then after that system b again sends a message to system a so it will be called half duplex in the half duplex you can send a message to each other but not at the same time so the example will be walkie talkie and if we will talk about full duplex it will be opposite to half duplex that both machines can simultaneously send our messages or communicate with each other so the example will be telephone and the next is types of transmission or communication based on number of bits transferred there if we will talk about the number of bits transferred so there will comes two types 
one is serial communication and other one is parallel communication or transmission there are eight bits we want to transfer so in serial what happens this is system a and this is system b so these are eight bits one zero one zero one zero one zero and they can only be dedicated a single line they can use a single dedicated line and in serial transmission the data can be transmit one after one like from the name it is clear that the data will be sent in series and in serial transmission data will be sent after one after one like first one bit will be transferred then zero bit will be transferred to system b and if we will talk about parallel transmission so there are these eight dedicated lines because we have to transmit data simultaneously in the form of eight bits so eight bits can be transferred our data can be transferred at the same time from system a to b there will be eight dedicated lines that we will use so each single dedicated line will transfer data from a to b so in serial transmission data can be transferred slowly as compared to parallel transmission in parallel transmission the data can be transferred fastly it is cheap serial communication is cheap while parallel communication is expensive as we are using a dedicated lines so it will be expensive there is only one single dedicated line it means there is no more expense and serial communication is used for long distance transmission and the parallel communication is used for short distance communication because there are eight dedicated lines so it will be difficult to assign or to uh, assign the eight dedicated lines over a long distance that's why it will be useful for short distance and next we will talk about types of transmission or communication that is based on synchronization if we will talk about synchronization the types of transmission or communication will be again comes in two types asynchronization communication and synchronization communication in asynchronization no clock and synchronization we will use clock in asynchronize synchronization one byte that is 8 bits we can transfer in the form of bytes data can be transferred in asynchronization in the form of bytes and there will be start and stop bits also used for asynchronization the total a 10 bits will be transferred in asynchronization communication and in synchronization transmission there will be used frames or blocks here example is there are four blocks each block is transmitting 8 bits so in the synchronization there are 32 bits we are going to transfer so there are blocks that occupies bytes or bits so there are four blocks that are used 
in this example and total 32 bits will be transferred and if we look at the asynchronization transmission it is half duplex and if we talk about synchronization so there will be full duplex communication or transmission as we have in asynchronization transmission start and stop bits so there will be gap in communication and there is no gap in synchronization transmission because the whole bits will be transferred at the same time without any delay and the example of asynchronization in asynchronization transmission is emails and synchronization transmission is video conferences next we will move on types of connection there are two types of connection point to point and multi point we can also call multi draw this is very important term you have to remember about multi point connection in point to point only a single dedicated line is used system 1 and system 2 both can communicate through a single dedicated line so this dedicated line will be only reserved for system 1 and system 2 no other one can have access for example if we talk about point to point connection we will talk about accessing tv by remote this is an example of point to point connection they are using infrared rays and if we talk about multi points there are also a single dedicated line but there are more than two systems system one is also connected to that single dedicated line and system s2 also dedicated is connected to dedicated line s3 is also connected to this dedicated single line and s4 also is connected through a single dedicated line on the left hand side this mainframe station or server is also connected to that single dedicated line so in the multi point more than two devices share the common dedicated link and it is also time shared so thank you so much for watching this video and we will next talk about in the next video we will talk about some topologies and some other interesting topics about PPSC educators and lecture jobs. Allah Hafiz.